So one of the defining features of being a developer is being unorganized and all over the place. Would you agree? He agrees. So today I decided to show you how I stay organized using this application called Notion. I'll show you exactly what it is and I'll show you how I use it to stay productive throughout the days and get as much stuff done as I can. So let's stop laying around like this guy and get back to the desk and show you exactly what it is. So what is Notion? My definition for it is it's an open-ended note-taking app that has a lot of customization and flexibility to create anything you want, really. According to the Notion website, it's an all-in-one workspace, one tool for your team to write, plan, and get organized. I've been using Notion for, I think, six months to a year, somewhere around that, and I feel like it has changed so much for me. It's kept me, it's definitely kept me organized and help me plan and write and do all that as well. So here's a quick sneak peek of Notion. So the big selling point of Notion is the customization in my opinion. So you see here we have a team wiki. So just pretty much like notes for the team. We can set up projects and tasks. So we have like a board like this. We can set up notes and other things like that and so much more. For a team wiki, you can click into each one of these. You get information, some people, whatever they write up and you can collaborate with the team and everything. You do projects and tasks where you can move them around, whether they're in progress or complete, sort by whatever you want, and just notes and documentation where you can add participants. And though it looks like there's so much going on in here, once you start using it, it's actually pretty simple. And I wanna walk you through how I use it. So they have a desktop app, online app, mobile app. You can download it wherever you want and it all stays synced up. There's also a free tier that's very generous and I only use the free tier because it does everything I need it to do. So when you first install it, you should see that this is your notion here. First thing you do, go to settings, turn on dark mode. Most of you are developers, so this should have already been done beforehand. And then next you can take a look at the templates. So these templates kind of showcase what you could do and you could use these templates and then customize it however else you want. So depending on what you want, so let's say design, you can create a roadmap, looks like this and you can move around stuff of course. Doesn't let you do that because this is just a template. You can have just a table of stuff where each one is a document, you get some more information so you can have all your team members in here and stuff like that. Just a normal notes list, some more information. There's so many ways to customize it. You can even create a timeline view. For example, if you're onboarding some new hires, you can have the schedules for their onboarding and stuff like that. There's so much customization. So now you got a little taste of what it can actually do. I want to show you how it does it. So you have these things called pages and you can create the pages in a folder view and stuff like that. But let's name this page demo. We can add an icon for this page. We could change it to whatever we wanted to add a cover image for it. And we can even add a comment section here and we can tag our team members here or we could just say, hey, check out this demo whatever you want and then you'll have the comment section up there now you'll see they'll give you a list of all the stuff you do the one main feature to remember about notion is backslash when you click backslash you'll get these building blocks so let's say we want a heading here we'll call the first heading and under the first heading let's say we want a to-do list and then here let's say we want a bulleted list and then this is a whole new block saying some other stuff one two three whatever and you can make this whole note look nice using things like quotes and there's just so much customization you can look through all the basic building blocks and the cool thing is each one of these lines is pretty much like a block so you can delete this one line duplicate it turn it into something else let's say you want to turn this line into a numbered list i'll go to a number that doesn't really make sense we can transform that line to whatever. We can create it into a whole page. A whole page kind of makes a link to another one of these. We can also just move this around anywhere. So let's say we want the three here. And let's say we want these three to be to the right. We can do that as well. We can bring this to the right as well. And there's just so much customization. Like I can't, I can't stress that enough. So I think the best way to learn about this is just explore it for yourself. And let's go over exactly how I use it and how I stay productive. So you can have shared folders. This is a book club app that I'm working on with somebody. And we have a shared folder where we have stuff we need to do for the app, which is fairly empty, but just don't mind that. But we have like active conversations in progress, stuff that's completed. And we have a documentation tab where we have stuff like a database layout, requirements, other research we did. And this is a great way to keep the projects that you're working with other people organized. And then you can obviously achieve more. Then we go to my private Notion folder. So this is the very main thing that I have up throughout the day almost every day and it's my to-do lists. This is just a copy it's not the actual one I have it's changed since then but 
I have this long list of stuff that I need to do. I want to focus on this section the most because it's the most helpful for me. So first we have tasks here with no status. So if I just have a quick thought of stuff that might need to be done at some point, we go like quick thought here. And when I come back, I can look through all the no status stuff. I'm like, oh, this should be done in the distant future probably. Or this is something for my website. Or maybe this is an article or thread that I want to write. Maybe it's a YouTube video that I want to make. But if it doesn't fall into any of those categories, website, article, thread, YouTube, it just goes into the normal to-do. Then at the beginning of every week, I fill out this tab over here. This tab is named to-do for this week. At the beginning of the week, fill it out what I want to get done this week. And then at the beginning of every day of the week, I fill out this work on today. So if I run into an issue where I don't know what to do today, this should be filled out and I don't really need to think about it. I just need to get the stuff done pretty much and look we're doing the record part of this video right now so i can check it off so let's say that was my plan to do today i get it done but there's still some more steps left for this specific task so i know i'm going to need to do some work on it tomorrow that way at the end of the day when i need to figure out what to work on the next day i can just copy all this work from tomorrow back in here if it's not enough stuff then i go to this week and fill it out some more then of course there's the done column at the end of the week you just take this and then delete all of them start fresh every week and this really helps me stay organized and get a lot of stuff done so if there's anything you take away from this video figure out something that works for you maybe it's a to-do list maybe something like that that you take a look at every day and it keeps you going but then i have a couple other folders so we have my business folder so all of these aren't necessarily filled out completely they're just ideas i still need to keep working on them and improving these notes or notion boards whatever but we can go through the ideas that i had so under the business i have yearly goals for my business stuff first was to get monetized done Second was 10K subscribers. Trying to get that before the end of this year. Let's see if we could do it. 1,000 Twitter followers, done. 500 income a month, not really close. I think I overestimated how much you're gonna make. I'm at like 120 maybe. Um, that's fine though. Switch to Final Cut Pro, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Designer instead of Creative Cloud, done. And then I have goals set up for the next years as well. One of them's already achieved, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out. But yeah, this is just quick quick goals that I want to look at at from time to time. Then we just have random notes. So I have stuff like what goes into my YouTube description. I have things like the article layouts whenever I write an article, some growth strategies and things like that. The next, just a quick list of ways to make money. Since I'll be quitting my job soon, you know, gotta figure out some way to make money. Then the next section is actually a board of all the income that I've made and where I made it from. Still got a lot of work to do in order to be able to afford rent, but we'll see what happens. And then we got our personal notebook. So in here, I have simple notes. This is the pens I want to buy. A little bit nerdy of a note, but whatever. We got my future plans in a list. I want to get an apartment, then own some property, then maybe buy an RV eventually in life, and then a lake house as well. But that's still far in the future. I don't know if my $150 income right now is going to cover it. Maybe in 10 or 20 years, we'll see. Then I have personal yearly goals. So my yearly goal this year was to read 20 books. I already did that. I'm moving with a girlfriend. All checked off. There's some travel plans. I want to go to Cancun, India, Japan, Thailand, Lithuania. There's obviously a lot more I want to travel the world, but for now, these are just ideas. You got to wait until this whole situation gets cleared up so you can actually travel. But yeah, then I have some books to buy, which isn't filled out yet. It's actually in on my different notes list, but I'm going to fill that out soon. Don't worry. And then I have another section where I just have quick notes that I jot down of random stuff that's not necessarily organized in any of these maybe potentially be organized later and another thing that i did was i was reading this textbook and after every section in the textbook i wanted to write down one takeaway and i did that for a little bit but then i got tired of it and i stopped doing it but maybe i'll pick it up again soon so that's how i use notion like i said the awesome thing about notion is the freedom to do literally anything you want set up your boards however you want figure out a way that works for you this is the way that works for me i'm not i'm sure some other people might have even better methods if you do have any better methods to stay organized i definitely want to know in the comments this whole list of things actually came about after a year of using it and upgrading little parts here and there at the beginning this to do used to be just two columns one that had no status another one that was done that's it and then slowly I add it to it and I think this way keeps it a little bit more organized and also incentivizes for me to get all the stuff in this list done today. But I really enjoy Notion. I'll definitely keep using it for the foreseeable future. I'm assuming that my setup's going to change. So maybe in a year or two, I'll make another video like this. Okay, if you have any other tips about staying organized, maybe use a different tool. Let me know in the comments. But that's it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.